Mike Horn on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Hey, welcome here to the Big PM Show, ladies and gentlemen, the special Fred Dreyer edition on CRN Digital Talk Radio. I'm Michael Horn. Ladies and gentlemen, the great actor, the great athlete, the football superstar, the man who's looking out for you and this country, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Fred Dreyer. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. Welcome aboard, folks. Uh, I'm a hyphenate, you know. I'm a, two, you I'm a two-time hyphenate, football uh, 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 and uh, acting and television shows and now uh, cable Radio. You're on CRN Digital Talk Radio on radio stations, on cable systems, on cell phones, on yeah. the internet. In fact, you're getting emails. I think. Yeah, I got, yeah. I, actually, I have gotten the email here. And and can I? Uh, let me just uh, address this uh, email. You can email Fred Dreyer, by the way, at fdreyer at crni dot net. And uh, this is from uh, Carol Mitchell. She was very kind to uh, respond to uh, our last couple of shows, and she's a school teacher. And she was uh, asking the question, to, uh, you know, to uh, Appreciate some clarification on one of your points. You were discussing unions. I'd like to paraphrase uh, what I think your was was your point. You believe that people have the right to unionize for salaries, but not retirement benefits, so forth and so on. Uh, I, I believe everybody has the right to unionize, and they also have the right to uh, negotiate for whatever they can negotiate with and collect a bargaining agreement. I don't believe that the United States. Uh, uh, government should mandate or unions should mandate that uh, the people of this country pay for your retirement. Uh, you should uh, uh, negotiate for your, for your uh, services and your terms and conditions and then save your money, invest in a 401k like I have and like everybody else has and get on with it and not leave the burden to uh, the American people to uh, pay for your uh, uh, retirement like, uh, like the government has sunk Western Europe with this uh, government unions, uh, and like uh, most unions have uh, overburdened the, uh, the individual states and the countries. Uh, so what's going on in Greece? All well, that writing in say, Greece, is, is, yeah, that's the deal, I, right? I was going to say that uh, it, Greece is exactly the, the model, but that you do not want to emulate. And uh, we're being sold that bill of goods by everybody, by, by talk show hosts, by, uh, by this politic, by this uh, failed... Uh, a group of uh, anti-American reprobates who have been trying to tell people and pit people against each other for various reasons for, for control over their thinking abilities. And uh, I just want to thank uh, uh, Carol Mitchell for her email and her kind words, and I hope that explained it. Um, and, uh, so we let me see if I understand this. So what you're saying is you're not against unions. You think you should use unions, your own prowess, whatever you want to do to negotiate the best possible deal for you. You're just opposed to all these so-called retirement plans that then make the government have to pay into the retirement pan plans or whatever, that mm -hmm. you should take your money and make enough money that you can put it in your own deal and, and plan for your own retirement. That's right. You should be responsible your own for, brain for, to plan for your for future, not me. I yeah. shouldn't be responsible for Carol's future or your future or anybody what, else's what's future. What's happening in this country is uh, what's killing the country is there are a lot of government workers that are going crazy that just keep, we got to keep paying taxes to pay their, their income taxes. The auto industry was going to go out of business and it should have gone bankrupt because what was killing them was the union workers were getting so much retirement dollars they couldn't pay the retirement for the past workers and the current workers and it was killing the auto industry. If they would have gone bankrupt we could have started with a fresh system because we bailed them out, we're stuck with the same problem. And, and we fell for the lie and, and, and I want to talk about the next second when we come back uh, about exactly where we are as a, as a country and where, where good right-minded people who believe in the Constitution in this country are now uh, left in the lurch by what's happened over the weekend with this, uh, this collective bargaining agreement that has gone on between uh, uh, the debt ceiling, uh, the left and the right, and this uh, uh, licentious reprobate we have as a president. All right, Fred Dreyer is here, ladies and gentlemen. Get ready. He's going to tell you what happened in this last week. Straight ahead on CRN Digital Talk Radio, the PM show with Fred Dreyer. Don't go away.